Hello guys, welcome to episode 4 of my single player let's play. And I've done something that not everybody has done. I've trapped one of these guys and I figured out that they do despawn. Um, because I trapped one in here a while ago and I thought he wouldn't despawn and he did. So let's get a name tag. And we're going to name it... Um, it's a good cat name, Sparky. Sparky the cat. And, uh, first, before we name him, I want to try and get him in a minecart to take him over to the other place. Oh, this is going to be so difficult. Because he's going to want to be with everybody. Oh, man. This is so hard. Alright, I'm going to have to make separators here. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Oh, just like this. Okay, so that's a little section right there that I made. I'm going to get it out of here. Okay, I'm trying to get out of the pen. No, you frickers. Come here, guys. Look. There's carrots. Oh, no. I hate this. Come on in, you stupid things. in there. Oh, I hate this so much. Alright, I'm going to get these guys back. I'll be, I'll be right back. Okay, so we have him isolated. So what we want to do is get him alone in the pen. And, uh, I think we could probably... Oh, yes. Okay. Hey, buddy! Alright, we're going to get him. I need my axe. Where's my axe? I dumped it in here. Oh! Don't read that sign. It'll ruin the episode. gonna be contained in here just for now. Oh, this is so awesome. Oh. No, no, I no, not this again. Get me out of here. <laughs> Aha. Fools. Alright. Yeah. Have you ever seen this before? Ocelot in a minecart. Okay. This is going to be so difficult. Oh my god. Now, I'll break this. I'll fence this off. Then we can break the minecart. Then, I'll relog quickly. Yep, he's right there. We have the name tag. Haha, <laughs> he's in. Awesome. Okay, now I would like to get that minecart back, but it's not a big deal.
<gasps> okay, he, he freaks me out when he runs like that. To be honest. Okay. Alright, that is awesome. Oh, we have one. Oh, that's so cool. That is one of the coolest things I, I've seen. I gotta be honest here, that's really neat. I also gotta be honest here, you guys are so annoying. I need to breed you more though. So my pickaxe was about to break, right? Um, so that's our fortune. So I, oh, it's in this chest. You're not supposed to look at the sign. Yeah, I made another one. So that, that's what I got from it. I was hoping for silk touch, but you know, good work pick is good because I'm going to need it anyway. But, oh, that's so awesome. So for now, he's just going to stay there as Sparky, but in our main base, um, he's gonna be trapped in like glass or ice or we'll find something to do with him but right now um, he'll never despawn because these guys actually despawn I didn't know that because I have one trapped in here and I was getting ready to record and it became nighttime and I was like oh I need slime balls which are where are they I have a crazy amount though oh there we go so I rode my horse away and he despawned which is sad I also made this villager breeder here thing so I had to make this out of cobblestone because an enderman would pick up the dirt block and zombies could get in um so yeah that's cool Got it breeds um five at the moment max there was just two in there so yeah that's pretty cool I'll take them away and those are gonna be like one of my first big builds besides this blaze farm that we're gonna do today so let me just gather all the supplies for that and uh, then we'll head into the nether and I'll show you exactly where we're going to build this thingy. So see you in a bit. Alright guys, so here we are in the nether and I've already been working on it. I moved our chest over here and that's just from digging this out and I encased the blaze spawner and I started working on the cone. I'm doing the etho design and when I came here I realized something very cool. There's another blaze farm right there. And these are actually close enough where I could do a dual blaze farm. But I'm not going to do that right now. Um, for now, I'm just going to work on a single one. And uh, maybe later we'll add in um, more. So I'm just going to finish this up. And I'll, I'll bring you back when I'm doing like the redstone and stuff. So see you in a bit. Alright guys, um, I didn't want to have a boring episode, so I just finished off the farm with all the redstone and stuff, and I came down to four repeaters left out of a stack, um, and it's all done, all the wiring is in place. Um, this one crushes them, they'll come in, the, the gate will close and they'll be crushed, and this one uh, resets it, uh, it'll bring them down to one hit, so you just punch, and then this one turns off the farm, so right now it's active. Yeah, right now it's active, and if I flip it, it'll turn to uh, inactive. Um, I still need to remove that and get four lava buckets, so I'm going to do that, and then we'll try it out. All right, guys, I'm back and finished off the farm. Got the lava in place. Um, I just need to take out those blocks. Ah, I keep forgetting. Um, but I set up this enchanting room, and you press this button, and you get a book, and you can enchant it. There's a stack in there. Um, this side I just have, like... Um, that's exactly how many, um, how much netherrack I used clearing it out, which is funny. This miscellaneous items, and then the blaze rods will go on the top. Uh, those are half slabs right there above the chest, so I can open them. Glowstone for light, and you get up through this now, which isn't finished because I still need some more stone brick, and that's what's cooking here. So I'm going to take this out, and I'm going to set the stone brick to the to the ceiling and eventually we'll have an ice path where we can run since it's too wide we can have trap doors go really fast and yeah so I'm gonna take this out I'll be right back alright it's all finished um, got this going up almost all the way up actually it goes all the way up there but I didn't finish the walls because that's a lot of stone brick 
Haven't used any of the books yet. These guys have been building up for a bit. There's only like 14 in there though, so I'm gonna wait until there's like 100 or so, and we'll see how much XP we'll get. Hopefully, it's crazy. All right, guys, I'm back. We have about 116 mobs in there, and I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but I always play on hard mode on this world. Never switch to um, peaceful peaceful mode ever. So turn the sound up. Oh, this is going to be a little loud. And this is to crush. So hopefully this will bring him down to one hit. And I wish I had a splash potion with me, but I don't. That's okay. So we should just be able to punch them. We get to level 30. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Sweet. Boom. Sharpness three. So I'm just gonna enchant books here. <laughs> so yeah, this farm is pretty cool. Obviously not as fast as a uh, um, Enderman farm because I had to AFK for a bit. But they do give off the most XP next to the Ender Dragon. Um, which is really good. So, okay. so then you just hit this button to reset it and more will come down. Second batch. And the blaze rods I store in here. So... Yeah, um, I'm just going to hang out here and do this for a bit. I also wired this in. I don't know if I said that. Um, so I'm going to hang out here for a bit, enchant a few more books, and uh, then I'll meet you guys back in the overworld. If we have some time, we'll try to set up um, the beginnings of an iron farm. Alright, we're back in the overworld here. I have 30 levels. I enchanted 3 books because I didn't want to be there for too long. And we're going to kill this guy. Oh, I was hoping he would give us some of his armor. And Sparky almost got loose because I jumped in there by accident and I destroyed those two blocks and placed them on top of each other and then destroyed the top one and he jumped for it and I destroyed the bottom one. Crap. Just as he uh, missed it. So that's really awesome. And I went strip mining a while ago. I don't know if I showed you guys, but I got ton of diamonds, which is awesome, and decent amount of redstone, I got some tools here, some iron, and that's a lot of wood, um, and I have these vines because they have been growing, well, the trees grow, right, and the vines grow down, and they land on, like, the corners, they land on, like, the corners and, like, the sides of the blocks here, and I was, like, destroying them with my hand, like this. And then I was like, oh, why don't I just get shears? Because I'm going to need them for, like, farms and stuff. This produces a ton of carrots, by the way. It's insane. And I was also hitting these off with my hand like this. Then I realized these ferns are kind of cool. So I might want to take these as well. Like, that's cool. You can have a fern. That's pretty sick. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing with that yet. I'm going to sleep before too many baddies come. Man, I cannot stand these pigs. I'm just going to make a pig killing thing when we build our base. Um, so we have 30 levels, and I was thinking we could put it into a pickaxe and try to get silk touch. And that would be awesome if I actually got silk touch. I can't take it anymore. The sounds here just kill me. So these are the crappy books we got. Sharpness, fire protection, and smite. So, 30 levels into a pick, and let's see what we get. And what will we get? Well, that sucks. And I have no books to put on it. Dang it, man. Well, that'll just stay in there, I guess. Oh, wait a minute. Well, no point in that. I guess I can just 
um, when this is about to run out, if I don't want to repair it with diamonds, I can just combine it with that, I guess, and get a new try on a pickaxe. Eh, that's kind of sad. So I already have over a stack of vines already. Um, and I'm just going to talk about the plans for the iron farm because it's really late my time. It's exactly 1040 and I have, I'm transferring the map, the old Black Mayhem map saved to a media fire right now and so you guys can download it. So yeah, I got to make monitor that and stuff but we have our villagers in here and I'm going to build <laughs> I'm gonna build the iron trench actually um but in order to build that I'm gonna need other things so I'm I'm gonna need an iron farm first a miniature one so it's going to go just right here and that I'll AFK overnight with it and just get iron um in the meantime while I'm building the iron trench and the iron trench needs to be facing in the north direction so that's F2 so it needs to be facing this way which is which is cool because like we've done up to here and I'm just gonna push the jungle back a bit and it'll be like right up against this mountain um, like in like a cove here which is nice and I know our I can't decide what to do <laughs> maybe if you watch this video for this long you could tell me what to do um, my original plan was to make a perimeter here and completely destroy all the blocks like here so that we would be standing on 62, um, the seafloor level, and then put dirt in at like, th at this level here, just like four pieces of dirt, and put saplings to make a big tree, spam it, destroy the dirt, and, and put the logs there so it would look like it was a swamp jungle but I don't know if I want to build in the sky like I can't decide so I need some help out here guys should we build on land and stuff or should we build up in the sky by the way that special leaf has not despawned yet so I kinda of want to keep it with shears so that's what we're gonna do the end of, to end the episode today so we got a lot accomplished. Um, went strip mining and got a ton of goods. Got some enchanted boots. Got the crappiest pickaxe. That's actually not the crappiest. The crappiest you can get is Fortune 2. Um, that's the second crappiest because it doesn't mine fast, but it does last forever, which is annoying. Um, so, yeah. Tell me what to do in the comments, guys. That's all I got left to say. Um... I hope you guys are enjoying this series, single player, because we're not sure what's going to happen with Block and Mayhem at the moment. Um, money needs to be made. That's about all I have to say there. Um, we need to start producing money on YouTube, really, if the server is going to continue or not. Um, I mean, donations we get we get enough, but I don't know. It's it's hard to explain. Uh, maybe I'll explain it with Super someday, but yeah, for now, I'm just going to stick with the single player every, um, like every other, uh, but this is the second single player in a row because single player is a lot of fun for me because I'm all alone by myself. So um, just thank you all for watching, and I'll uh, I'll catch you next time.